Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina, Miss Kelly Cat sitting over here on the bed like royalty. So, today y'all, I am gonna be super, super honest. I'm gonna be faking it today. Not faking if I like the clothes or not, but fake it happy because I am super, super stressed out. I've got a dozen boxes here I need to film. I took off yesterday because it was my anniversary. And during my anniversary day with my hubby, who still has not left work yet. Um, Y'all, it's like 1240, I'm late. <laughs> so during my day of anniversary, we already knew that one of our friend's fathers had passed away. But during the anniversary, during yesterday, we found out that five more people who were related to people close to us passed away as well. One of which was my husband's aunt. Um, she lives in Florida, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a little stressed today. Um, my brother-in-law's mother, who I've known since I was a child, also passed away yesterday. Um, family is distraught. Just pray for us, y'all. We're you know, pa pastors, grandfather. Um, cousins, grandfather, you know, just a lot of people and nobody I was super duper close with except for my, my brother-in-law's mother. But, um, yeah, just pray for us because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be baking happy today. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Lippy of the day. So I started out with this Buxom, um, which is rock star because I went with the purple today beautiful beautiful color but you know me i gotta have my sparkle so pat mcgrath labs i stuck a little gold in the middle dreamscape y'all when you first put this stuff on it does you know kind of do the little sticky lip thing <laughs> you know you can put your lips together and it kind of sticks so you gotta kind of wait for it to or blot it out something put that on and then just for a little more shine because i needed some shine today <clears throat> This is the gloss by um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This color is succulent. This color is gorgeous. I love this. Oh my goodness. Love it so much. You can see blues and purples. Even though it looks pink, it's just gorgeous, y'all. Oh, if you are a sparkly girl, you need to get some of that. Whew. Okay. Moving on. Miss Cali Cat has joined us. You want to say hi, Miss Cali Cat? Say hi. What a good girl. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be opening a Dia and Co box today. They are a try before you buy a subscription. Uh, just like most other subscriptions, you pay a $20 styling fee that you will get credited back to you if you keep something. If you keep all five items that they send you, you get $25 off. You have five days to decide, but you can always ask for an extension if something happens like you know what's happened with me but i'm not gonna ask for extension i i'm just want to try on the clothes i want to try to get in a better mood um just excuse the shakiness y'all you do actually get to pick three of the items that are sent to you if you want to i have done that before i don't think i did any of that this time um if you use the link i have below it will give you 25 dollars credit also to go towards that so really it gives you a chance to try it and not really lose any money. You know, I think that is wonderful. I love it when companies let me give to y'all. It's so great. Well, what are you doing, baby girl? You feeling a little needy today? Girl, you look like you got dandruff. Oh, I'm gonna have cat dandruff on me. Okay. Um, anyway, they also have this point system that every time you, you know, buy something or whatever, you get points. And you, you, you're a mover, a shaker, or a change maker. And, you know, every time you get point, you move up its tier, you get more points, stuff like that. It gives you early access to seasonal exclusives, early access to sales when you get up in the higher tiers, and merchandise giveaways when you get up in the highest tier. So, all kinds of neat ways to earn points, which equals to money, oh, baby girl, <laughs> on their website. Um, of course you get points if you're you know 
like them on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. Um, what are the points? There's somewhere in here that tells you. Okay, a thousand points equals twenty dollars. Fifteen hundred points equals thirty. You know, and so on. I'm not gonna go any further into that because we want to open the box. Oh, this Cali Cat knows something's going on. Look at all that fur, y'all. Can y'all see it floating in the air? You can see it now. Whew. Okay. So here is my Dia and Co box. Find my scissors. I'm kinda liking my little fall box sitting here that I got from Habitation Box. It gives me a good place to put my scissors and don't lose them as much because they can't push it off the back <laughs> like they do sometimes. Not that they've been able to get here lately because this table has been overflowing with boxes for several days because I just haven't had time. Um, Monday, I took my friend to physical therapy. Uh, like I said yesterday, was, was um, anniversary, so I, did, I tried not to work, y'all. You know I answered y'all stuff and, and did all that anyway because I can't stop. <laughs> Even did a little short of Miss Callie Cat. She's lazy and she knows it. It was cute, y'all. If y'all hadn't seen it, go watch that short. It was just cute with the music and her. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, inside, purpley, and you know, that just matches me. Um, look inside for your styles and tricks. Or order invoice and more. Okay. They send you a pre-labeled bag to return everything in. It goes to the post office. You, of course, you do go online and check out. Um, I, thought, I just thought of something I wanted to tell you, and it's gone now. Maybe I'll think of it later. So, here is my price sheet and my note from my stylist. Let's see what the stylist said today. Hi, Gina. I am thrilled to be styling you again. I feel really good about the items I selected. Let me walk you through the styles I have in mind for you. The Aquila jeans are a relaxed yet stylish boyfriend fit that I think you will get a ton of use out of style them with either of the blouses that you, that you chose to elevate casual outfits so i guess i did make some choices and i just don't remember y'all normally what i do is when i check out this box i'll go and look and see if there's something i want to add to my style so it's a month away or is this one month or every other month i don't know because you can do this one a month every other month whatever and uh so I just forget, you know, I'll forget what I do yesterday. <laughs> I'm bad about it. It says beat the Mississippi heat by styling the tops with the shorts that you were able to pick up. The Asura dress is super easy to wear and you can take it. Did you hear the hummingbird fly by? <laughs> you can take it with you through the seasons by a quick shoe change and addition of layering pieces. I am starting to feel the layering bug, y'all. I've even got the layered tanks today. <laughs> what is it? Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, as a new season approaches, double check that your profile reflects your desires so that I can build you the best box for the current weather. That is a good point. A lot of times when I wrote these profiles, filled them out, stuff like that, it was in the summer. I was asking for stuff that wouldn't be hot. So I do really need to go in there and change it more towards fall and maybe even winter stuff. So I'm glad she mentioned that. That's a good note to keep if you do subscription boxes of any kind, you know, clothing wise, or even makeup, because sometimes your makeup changes with the weather. You want something that's gonna, you know, be a little more moisturizing or, you know, help fight off the cold, whatnot. So XOXO Abby, make your next box even better idea and company slash ratings. And you can actually go online and just shop here and use your points for that as well so you don't just have to get the subscription box with dia and co i was just looking at my totals you know i kind of like to see what the totals are it's 210 with everything and then of course i would get my 20 dollars styling feedback and if i kept off five i would get the 25 dollars off which would be 52 dollars and 50 cents so my total would be 137.50 which is good that's where i like to have it in case i do love everything i can afford to keep it all so Let's just look inside because, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to see what's in the bundle. And y'all, I think I can see some yellow in here through the package. What's this? Oh, it's tag. <laughs> All 
right. So sneak peek of our bundle. I see some stripes, I see some yellows and the denim. So yeah, let's just get this out. Florals. Y'all, my bestie doesn't like florals. So um, <laughs> we were in the store the other day and I was and I was like, oh, well, you're not gonna like that because it's floral and you're gonna, <laughs> there, was, there was not a lot that wasn't floral in the store. And I was trying to help her find some new clothes because she felt like she needed some. I may be a bad influence on her or we may be a bad influence on each other. I don't know. Okay, so here is the first shirt. This is adorable. Uh, it, it has the tie front. It has some pleating up here. Very cute. I, I, like, I, I kind of like the yellow. It does feel polyester -y, but it is a light flowy shirt. I think I could get away with it. With it. it is a little more spring, but if I picked it, that's probably because it was warmer here. And granted, it is still warm here. It's, it's 80, 80 degrees. So it is not cold, but it's a lot better than 90 or 100. As I'm always reminded by my California friends, it's it's not a, you know, it's not as hot as it is there. So, sorry California friends. But yes, this is cute. I like the little flowers on there. Very adorable, dainty looking, cute. We will try it on and see how it goes. Let's see how much it costs. This is a Molly and Isadora penny printed top in a 0x $25 so it is a good price too so put this over here and we're gonna look at this next floral I probably picked it out and do too <laughs> it's got the big floral on it sometimes I like a big floral pattern a lot because I think they're cute now the reason I picked these shirts even though they're polyester I think these type of shirts look dressier. I, I'm having a hard time finding a dressy shirt that's not polyester. If y'all have any suggestions on that, please let me know. But I think these would look good, you know, under blazers, under something over a, you know, a skirt for church, stuff like that is kind of what I had in mind. It does have a ruffling up top, a V-neck, a few buttons, a tie, very cute little shirt. Mary Sky. This is the Kayla sleeveless ruffle neck sleeveless top navy and white zero X in for twenty nine dollars. See, when I pick stuff, I pick it with a really good price. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the next one. This is definitely the dress she was talking about. It is a Mary Sky, the stripey dress. This is soft, y'all. Look, it has that little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. I think these are cute. And I mean, I can see wearing a denim jacket over this and maybe even some little booties. You know, I, I've been wearing the booties lately. I've, I've gotten my, my mind a little more for the weather even though you can't tell my tank tops today <laughs> but very soft very very soft it says 61 polyester 33 round and six spandex lay flat to dry that's kind of a downside but let's keep going this is the Izara French cherry dress, black and ivory in the 0x, $42, which is still a decent price for a little dress. Okay, these are the shorts. So I know why I picked these because I don't have any khaki shorts. All my shorts are denim. These are a denim feel, even though they're in khaki. They are a little stretchy. They are in size 12, Molly and Isadora. I like Molly and Isadora. I like the square pockets. I know not everybody likes those. They feel like they make their hips look bigger. I don't have that problem. I just don't feel like that. They do, they are rolled up and sewn. So we'll try them on and we'll see what happens. M maybe Molly and Isadora M A E V E short in tan 12. Size 12, $45. So, 
I don't know. I think about it because I'm not sure shorts are going to be on my table anymore. And, you know, I'm scared to buy anything that, you know, I think they roll over to next summer because I don't know what size I'll be next summer. So, these are Molly and Isadora size 12. These are the boyfriend jeans she was talking about. Got a Miss Kelly cat in my lap again. So... Um, I'm having a hard time seeing them because there's this cat sitting <laughs> I'm trying to keep the clothes over. I don't know that I'm in love with these just at first glance. Um, they look a little bulky, but you never know when I put them on on my level. These are cuffed at the bottom, but I think they could be rolled down. I don't feel any sewing there. I don't know that I've ever really loved a boyfriend jean. The girlfriend jean, yeah. Boyfriend, I don't know about. All right, so. That was what was in my box. I think she saw something. I'll show you what I'm wearing today and I'll try them on. I'll see you back in a second. All right, y'all, so this is my outfit of the day. Miss Kelly Cat has found a mouse to play in with. Um, these are, why can I never remember? Okay, these are cut from the cloth pants. Um, my black tank top, I think is time and true. And the other one is, I think the Target brand. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, actually maybe another Walmart one. Um, Terry and Sky, I think. I don't know. I'll list it all below for you. I'm wearing paparazzi jewelry today. Um, very cute paparazzi jewelry. And let's move on to trying on clothes. Don't know how I feel about the dress. I don't think it's bad. I just feel like it maybe needs something. I wore this the other day, so. <laughs> We're still out, haven't made it back to the hanging up closet yet. I see that's better. <sighs> I can't stick my hands in these pockets, they're so shut. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. It's, do I love it? I don't, I don't know. Let's see what the cropped one looks like on it. Actually, I might like the cropped look better on this jacket or on this dress. I think that looks cute. I think I'd wear it like that. And even the, it gives that stripe look to it. Where that is that's not too bad and i want to try one other thing before i dismiss this dress too so let me be right back now i thought i could belt it and just see what it looked like belted i don't know i mean i could even put a red belt or something on it or a burgundy jacket or something to george it up a bit i just gotta think on it and i need y'all's opinion i just like to give myself a little waste even if I'm just pretending it's there. <laughs> All right, let me try the next stuff on. I think the shorts are a little tight for my liking. They just feel really tight. I mean, they probably loosen up as the day goes, but I don't know that I think I love what they're doing for right here, where my, my flab hangs. The shirt is cute, and I'm actually tempted to keep it because I think this pop of yellow underneath the jacket would be really cute. Um, I mean, I could see myself wearing my black pencil skirt, maybe a black blazer, and going to church. Do y'all think that would be appropriate, or should I just send it back and wait until the season is correct? Probably will send these pants back, or these shorts back, I just don't know that I'm in love with them. But the top is cute. I like the top. Um, let me switch tops and jeans and I think I'll be done. All right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so this top may be a keeper as well. I, I think it gives me a good shape. Um, I have it tied right now just so you can get the effect of what it looks like tied, but I am gonna untie it because most of the time I just wear them like this and just let them hang. 
but I think it's cute. Like I said, I think they have some good shape. Now these pants come up pretty high, so I don't know if the French look will look all right. Let's see. I think it's okay. But I kind of think I like the better out. Just hanging and chilling. Um, the pants I don't hate and I don't love. I'm just kind of indifferent about them. Um, of course, I always want to know y'all's opinion. If you think they're worth keeping or not. I don't even remember how much they were. How much were they? $69. I don't know if I love them $69 worth. Unless y'all just tell me, oh, keep them, keep them, keep them, you know. I may send them back. I mean, they're cute. They fit decently. They're a little more bulky right here. And that's what I don't like about boyfriend jeans is they have a little more bulk right through here, which to me just kind of looks odd. But let's do a recap and see what we think. All right, I'm back. I forgot to put my necklace back on, but I don't care. I'm not getting up. Okay, so back with the Dia and Company review, Dia and Co. Um, I kind of think I'm going to keep this yellow shirt. I know polyester, ooh, but it looked really cute on, unless I watch it back and think, oh, maybe not. I may actually keep this one because I've just got such ideas of blazers and stuff like that and that pop of color sticking out. So, you know, I kind of wish I'd get the khaki anorak jacket that uh, Wannable sent me. I wonder if I can order it. Anyway, um, these shorts I probably will send back. They were just a little snug. Had to peel them off and look. The roll is already kind of uncommon, even though it's sewn. Um, yeah, easily fixed, but I don't know. It's just not the season anymore for the shorts. So I'm probably just gonna send them back. If they had been a super good price, I probably would have kept them. But 40 something dollars for fall, I'm just not going there. This one, also polyester, but I thought it was cute on. And same thing with the yellow one. I just think they're cute. So, you know, what was I, 25 and 29? I'll probably keep those. I am in debate about the dress. I don't know if I should keep the dress or not. It's so soft and comfortable. Part of me really wants to keep it and really wanted to make it work. As you can tell by the fact that I tried several things on with it. $42. So... I don't know, I'm in debate. I need y'all's help on this one. Let me know what you think, if I should keep that or not. And the jeans, I'm just, I'm gonna send them back. I just didn't love them enough to pay 60 something dollars for them. I know that's not a horrible price for jeans nowadays, but there's an airplane going over. Sounds like a bathplane. Anyway, um, probably gonna send the jeans back. So, the dress is my maybe, these two shirts, yes. Let me know below, comment, tell me what you think I should keep, help me, I need it today. <laughs> uh, don't forget to be prayer warriors for me, I really need the prayers. Please, while you're down there commenting, I'd love it if you would press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends, and press the notification bell. Y'all, have a wonderful day, and God bless.